What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man and today we got Lil Wayne's Ghost Ryan is exposed by Hello Yes Me Extras. Make sure to go follow the boy. Make sure to go subscribe to his shit. Get him the 50,000 subscribers. Get me the 3K, nigga. Get me the 3K. I'm going to try to hit 5K by the end of this year. No kizzy. Maybe 10. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Yiddy. What's pop, y'all? What's you know good? why I'm here. I know why you're here. Mm -hmm. We got to talk about Lil Wayne. Most recent reference track that just dropped. The Drake I'm Single one from I'm Not a Human Being out in 2010. Now, I haven't maybe it's probably been a week since i've dropped anything on this channel i've been working on other stuff but mm -hmm. i'm i'm gonna be completely honest and i've been distraught you know how in japan the u.s hit them with two they like they hit one city with the nuke then bam they hit another city with the nuke so yo, you mm -hmm. couldn't even process the first one before you got hit by the second one that's what i felt like happened to me last week like for example like someone just hit you with a leg kick you, you just fall you're like one knee down and then he just knees you in the head and you're in the octagon like yo what just happened you don't you don't know if you won you don't know if you lost you don't even know if you were fighting anymore and that's what it felt like the two things i'm talking about is one we get that yay lawsuit oh man mm. and then sure everything's alleged and it's a civil lawsuit all that and that will be a topic for another video i'm actually recording that immediately after this one so it's not one of those ones where i'm like ah, i might leave this for another time usually i'm saying i might this one it will come out but then i get the Lil wayne news and man i was just sick to my stomach you ever feel like a pit in your stomach like this is the greatest rapper we're gonna give some context to everything we're gonna give some theories why i believe this released and we're gonna get down to it. Do we have to dismiss Lil Wayne? That's, oh man. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I've been running this through my head. I haven't actually, I've had this conversation with one person. So you guys are the second people that are going to have to endure this, pretty uh, some, somewhat of a monologue, but I feel like we're conversating. That's kind of how I present in these videos. Like I'm just mm -hmm. talking to somebody. So first off, why did this drop? I'm almost certain somebody from drake's camp dropped this reference track because there's no reason why it didn't come out yet it's been 14 years maybe 15 years i'm not a human being dropped in 2010 15 years for a wayne reference track to drop when we haven't gotten any wayne reference track before this or if we have it's been a very long time i don't even remember any way we get more wayne leaks than reference tracks or at least back in the day we haven't really gotten wayne leaks since i don't know martin shkreli bought the original carter five why would drake's camp leak this this is my belief my theory keep that in mind i think mm. drake needs some hey this guy can actually write news to hit because now everyone's just been looking at it like damn dog we're getting reference track after reference track after reference tra after full track that you take hey, yo are you actually writing anything are you doing anything not to mention the freestyle that drake did on was what was it hot 97 no funk flex yeah the one he did on funk flex that started to go no not funk flex who am i thinking about you guys know what i'm talking about it's the one that is woof, where he's trying to rap off the blackberry that is a struggle it wasn't tim westwood although i know his tim westwood freestyle wasn't the greatest either mm. it was one of those mm, hot 97 i'm pretty sure it was i don't know why it's escaping me right now even though i might be correct so there's that freestyle that comes out it's just been bad news all over mm. and people are starting to say yo does drake write anything and mm. then this drops and it kind of makes you think oh whoa maybe he was writing a lot more for wayne which i don't know like we got to take into consideration right keep in mind there there will be no excuses here but we have to contextualize and we have to be fair that's what i'm here to do mm -hmm. i'm single was on i'm not a human being that song was it a hit song i wouldn't say so not to mention when we're mm. talking about ghost writing right Ghostwriting means somebody doesn't get any credit for the song. Drake was on this song. Drake was on this song and Drake got writing credit. Does that mean that we believe Lil Wayne was rapping the reference for Drake on the hook? I don't know. The song I'm single just seems like it was entirely a Drake song initially. And then he just told Wayne to do the part on the chorus and gave it to him. And this is where things get a little bit hazy because a lot of the issue with Drake is that this guy gets reference tracks or tracks from other people. Not only mm. did he, oh, I think he does credit them. I don't know if he started crediting them after the situation with Quentin Miller, but they're not features. That's for sure. For the most part, 
except maybe Party Next Door, but we haven't gotten a reference track that Drake was on that the other individual was also on. And this is why it gets a little bit shaky because is Drake a ghostwriter if he's featured on the song and he has writing credits? But also, he would have had writing credits either way because he's a feature on the song. So this is where I'm looking at it like, okay, I don't like this. Keep in mind. I hope they're not talking about Wheezy having Drake ghostwrite. I hope that's not what we're talking about. I hope that ain't Wheezy and Baby. I hope, I hope, I hope Wheezy. Like he said, these are just, you know, his his theories, I hope. But, yeah, that don't sound like no damn... And then that I'm single shit, that, that wouldn't even be considered ghostwriting. I, I, don't, I don't think that. I'm single, I didn't even really care for that song too much exactly. when it dropped. That doesn't change anything, though. But it makes me think, Why yo, so fat, did Drake man? write the hook for... Oh, Uber Eats has groceries? He need to eat that damn banana. Give him back the yeah, and them damn vegetables that's all in that cart. Cause ain't no way. Low Wayne's right above it too, cause that was the biggest song off of "I'm Not a Human Being." I gotta look at it like okay, so now it disrupts my peace of mind, which is what I had with Low Wayne. Hmm. Granted, when you listen to "I'm Single," you're like, okay, this sounds like Drake. A bunch of people say they weren't surprised, sure, but. It just opens the floodgates. What else has Lil Wayne had help with? Has Lil Wayne had help with his bars? I don't know. The way Wayne, his process, we've seen his process on the documentary, in the Carter documentary. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. The guy's a machine. He raps a similar type of way. He's consistently rapped that way. His flow doesn't change too much. Those are pretty much the hallmark of somebody that doesn't have a writer or get reference tracks very often. If someone's constantly switching up their style, they've always got a new flow, they've always got, they're reinventing themselves, quote unquote, mm -hmm. all the time, and they try to put it out there that it's all them, they usually have a writer. That was Drake. Or they're getting reference tracks. Like people like Eminem, people like Lil Wayne, when it came to their bars, they sounded Jay-Z even. It sounded the same. And you're like, okay, this is the same identity that's yeah, rapping. Yeah, baby, baby. We don't know that for sure, though. And that's where this really bothers me. I will have to say that there are new rules. It looks like hooks. Are we going to give people passes for hooks? Because we've never looked at Lil Wayne like, yo, you're the hook guy. You're the chorus guy. You're the melody guy. Drake, we have. So people coming about with this whole, ah, oh, nah, well, we know Drake wrote all his bars. So he's still a top in the game. What? Since when? That's potentially, I'm not promising that one, a conversation for another video. But with Lil Wayne, man, I think he's got an asterisk. I'm keeping an eye on him. He's in a probation period. We'll mm -hmm. put it that way. And it really hurts me to say this. I, I'm not going to lie. It hurts me more than anybody else. Y'all know Wayne is the GOAT. Wayne is my GOAT when it comes to rapping. Rapping, rapping. Wayne is my GOAT. I like Lupe Fiasco too, but when it comes to someone whose music I've consumed more than anybody else as a rapper, and I love his style, just kind of like everything about Wayne, that's my go. So for me to do this, it's difficult. I can't completely write him off because we've seen him work. We haven't seen Drake work. We haven't really seen a quote unquote vlog, like behind the scenes of how Drake's process works in the studio. How, how does he come up with his bars? We haven't ever seen that. Some people are alleging, hey, he isn't coming up with them. Come on. At one point he had to. Maybe now he doesn't, but I'm not willing to dismiss the guy entirely. That's not cool. As for Lil Wayne, I'm going to keep my eye out on any more reference tracks. As of now, we got to put a little a little asterisk. Mm. Keep an eye. He's on probation until further notice. Do I still have him as the GOAT rapping-wise? That's to be determined. But for now, yes, yes. Because the only thing we've gotten proof of is that I'm single song. Man, well, why did Drake have to do this? Whoever leaked this track, sincerely, I hope you have a bad rest of your week. Because <laughs> you ruined my week with that. And this actually just week. reminded me. You know, this is like when you have traumatic memories come up. Remember when that conspiracy theory was going around? That Gutta Gutta, who was always on Wayne Features, that was his whole career. He was on Young Money. They were saying that the reason why his career didn't take off is because he was just writing songs for Wayne. See, now that's entering my mind again. I'm like, yo, did they have a point there? Now oh, people are going to talk about the whole, ah, oh, nah, but they talked about the Gilly thing. Listen, <laughs> we're, we're not talking about Gilly the Kid over here or his rapping talking about gutta gutta that if that gilly the kid thing comes to the forefront of my mind as a potential theory then i know it's over 
But yeah, there's just that. But let me know what you guys think. I hope that's not true. I hope Wayne is as authentic as he's been rapping. I really hope so. Let's see these. Realistically, Wayne has written 10 times more for Drake than Drake has for Wayne. Wayne's best music. No Drake influence. Wayne had Drake all of his early hits and Drake. Had, yes, please. Never respect the old Wayne. Shh, never, nigga. Up until we get that notice. Innocent until proven guilty. Fuck is you talking about? Drake is still a free... I'm, no, no, not Drake, not Drake. Wayne is still a fucking freestyle goat. Thought Drake writ writing I'm um, single was a widely known thing. I never knew that. Because ain't no way we now just... Yeah, ain't no... We can't be doing that to Wheezy F, baby. But anyways, it's your boy OGT Main signing out. I hope this shit ain't true. I'm going to have a rude awakening of me crying. No 